Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to control the exposure of our image using the simple exposure and the photographic exposure. One of the most important parameters we need to learn is how to control the exposure of our images. Changing this value can affect how bright or dark is our render. We have two ways to control the exposure. The default control in Corona is the simple exposure, which is enabled by default in the tone mapping section of the Corona frame buffer. One of the advantages of this control is the simplicity. If we want a brighter image, we just need to increase the value. For example, going from one to two, we can double the exposure of the scene. And if we want a darker image, we can decrease this value. We can even select negative values. A more advanced option, which is great for anyone with photographic experience, is by using the photographic exposure. To enable it, we need to press the plus button in the tone mapping section of the virtual frame buffer, and then select it. Then we need to move it to the top of the stack and uncheck or delete the simple exposure. After this, we're going to be able to adjust the exposure using the ISO, F number, and shutter speed. These three parameters are referred as the three pillars of photography and work together to control the final image. ISO refers to the sensitivity of the sensor to available light. If we increase the value, we can see how the image gets brighter. And if we decrease it, the image will get darker. The value used here will depend on the space and lighting conditions. The next option is the F-stop. This is the aperture in our camera lens and is what allows the light to pass. A small number means that the aperture is more open, allowing for more light to pass, creating a brighter image than a larger number like eight or 16. The f-stop controls two things. The first one, as we have seen, is the exposure of the image. And the second one, how shallow or wide is the depth of field effect when the exposure is set to simple exposure. You can learn more about depth of field in my depth of field video tutorial. The next option is the shutter section. This is like a curtain in front of the camera sensor that stays closed until the camera fires. When the camera fires, the shutter opens and fully exposes the camera sensor to the light. After the sensor is done collecting the light, the shutter closes right away, stopping the light from hitting the sensor. In Corona Render, we can select from three different industry standards to set this value. Shutter speed, shutter angle, and motion blur duration. The shutter speed is the length of time the camera shutter is open exposing light to the sensor and is measured in fractional seconds. For example, if we set the value to 10, it means that the shutter is going to be open for one tenth of a second. If we start increasing this value to 50, 100, or 1000, the shutter is going to be open for less time. We can also see how this creates an underexposed or darker image. Shutter angle is a different convention in which we control the opening and closing of the shutter using a 360 degree angle. For example, if we change the value to 180, we can see how the shutter speed is changed to 60 or 1 60th of a second. And blur duration is a multiplier that uses the current frame rate. For example, if we change the value to 1, we can see how the shutter speed is updated to 30 and the shutter angle to 360 degrees. For the renderings, we can use the option we like the most. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching.